Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be discussing about transmission lines of microwave. See, transmission line is used to transfer signal from one end to another end. In general, there are three types of transmission lines. First one is two parallel wire transmission line. Second one is coaxial transmission line. And third one is microchip transmission line. In this video, I'll explain you these three transmission lines with great clarity. Let us begin this session with first agenda that is two parallel wire transmission line. Two parallel wire transmission line is quite simple in structure. You can observe here we have two parallel wires and these two parallel wires are supported by dielectric material. To separate these two wires, we are using this dielectric material. In 1990s and in early 2000s, we were been using this two parallel wire transmission line with telephone network. Using this transmission line, we can carry signal of telephone network. If you observe the cross section of this transmission line, then see we have two conductors. Here it is shown by two dots that is cross section of this where diameter of this wire that is small d and spacing between these two wire that is capital D. First of all, I'll explain you how electric field and magnetic field is getting coupled in between these two transmission line. If you talk about this transmission line, let us consider here we have current passing and that is positive over here and here we have negative current over here. Let us assume current coming out of the page that is positive and current going inside that is negative. So here electric field that will be emerging from positive conductor. So you will be observing electric field that is getting coupled like this. See here electric field that is emerging from this conductor and that is getting enclosed in this conductor, right? So electric field lines that I'm showing you right now. So this is E field of this transmission line. Now I'll be discussing about how magnetic field will be there. See here plus means current is coming out of the page. So as if current is coming out of the page, then magnetic field will be there as per right and thumb rule. If this is the plane of page, if current is coming out, so thumb is there in the direction of current and fingers direction that will be the direction of magnetic field, right? So if current is coming out of the page, then magnetic field that will be there in this direction, it will be rotating like this, you see. So it is having this direction if current is coming out of the page and here current is going inside the page. So magnetic field that will be happening like this, you see. It will be happening in this direction as per right and thumb rule. So that is how electric field and magnetic field will be there with this two conductor parallel wire transmission line, right? Now, if you want to calculate how much capacitance and inductance is there with this two parallel wire transmission line, then based on the dimension, here we have diameter that is small d. Here we have diameter that is small d and spacing between th these two wire that is capital D. So based on these dimensions, we can identify inductance and capacitance of this two parallel wire transmission line. If you want to identify inductance, then L is mu by pi ln 2 capital D by small d. That is how one can identify inductance of this transmission line and capacitance that is pi epsilon divided by ln 2 capital D by small d. That is how we can identify inductance and capacitance. See calculation of inductance and capacitance that is quite essential for transmission line. The reason is we need to identify characteristic impedance of transmission line. And based on characteristic impedance only, we need to provide signals. To understand characteristic impedance, first of all, you need to understand equivalent circuit of transmission line. So here what I'll be doing is I'll be considering small differential length of this transmission line. If I say here we have small differential length delta L. So for, for this much small differential length, 
let me explain you how equivalent circuit will be there so in equivalent circuit see along the wire there will be resistance and inductance if i say resistance value is r and inductance value is l and here in between these two parallel wire there will be capacitance that is having value c and transconductance that will be having value g so that is how basic equivalent circuit is there with this transmission line now i'll explain you how to identify characteristic impedance see characteristic impedance that can be calculated as per z naught that is square root of r plus j omega l divided by g plus j omega c this is the basic equation for characteristic impedance of this transmission line here if you observe see inductance and capacitance that one can calculate based on these equations right and equivalent model of transmission line will be having this circuit only for all three categories as i have told you in general we have three categories second category is coaxial transmission line and third category is microchip transmission line so with all categories equivalent model is having this circuit only where characteristic impedance is square root of r plus j omega l divided by g plus j omega c here this r and g that belongs to lossy component so as if you have some loss inside this transmission line loss of signal or you can say attenuation of signal then that is happening because of r and g here for lossless transmission line value of r and g will be zero so in this situation characteristic impedance z naught that will be square root of l by c you can observe r and g that is zero so j omega that is getting cancelled so z naught that is characteristic impedance that is square root of l by c for two parallel wire transmission line l and c equations that i have mentioned over here so that is how one can identify characteristic impedance now question is what is characteristic impedance see characteristic impedance is the impedance of transmission line provided length of the transmission line is infinite if i say this is transmission line and if you measure impedance from one end over here then that will be characteristic impedance provided length of this transmission line is infinite right you can measure characteristic impedance from any of these ends it is not like you will have to measure it from this end or this end here impedance of transmission line is characteristic impedance provided length of the transmission line is infinite right now i'll be discussing about coaxial transmission line if you observe coaxial transmission line then that is quite simple here we have inner conductor that is center conductor that you can observe and here we have outer conductor that is conducting shield and these two conductors are separated by insulating layer and this is jacket of this coaxial transmission line that is to provide protection to this transmission line right if you observe the dimensions then here we have diameter d that is small d which is a diameter of center conductor and this is what capital d diameter that is a diameter of outer conductor right that is diameter of this conductor so here small d that is this diameter diameter of inner conductor and capital d that is diameter of outer conductor right that is how it is there now with this transmission line let me explain you how to identify value of inductance and capacitance the reason is see that inductance and capacitance that will be defining characteristic impedance right so value of inductance l that will be mu divided by 2 pi ln of capital d divided by small d and if you want to calculate capacitance then that is 2 pi epsilon divided by ln of capital d divided by small d by these equations we can identify inductance and capacitance now i'll explain you how we will be having electric field and magnetic field see here electric field that will be there based on polarity here i'll be considering current passing through wire will be there in outer direction with this inner conductor 
if it is there in outer direction let us consider that as a positive then with this outer shield will be having negative polarity so in this case you will be observing electric field that is happening as per electric field will be emerging from positive and it will go towards negative so it will be happening like this you see so by this color i have shown electric field now to understand magnetic field you will have to understand how current direction is there i have told you current coming out of the conductor means out of this page that is positive so if i say this is plane where out of the page is this direction so you will have to place thumb in the direction of current and fingers direction that will be the direction of magnetic field so here magnetic field that will be rotating like this and it is having direction which is shown over here that is happening as per right and thumb rule so that is how electric field and magnetic field will be there and characteristic impedance of this coaxial transmission line that will be having same equation that one should know z naught that is square root of r plus j omega l divided by g plus j omega c and r and g those are having components which are resulting into loss in the transmission line right and l and z that will be giving you idea about how coupling will happen and that calculation can be done by these equations for coaxial transmission line right now i'll explain you microstrip transmission line see in microstrip transmission line i'll be explaining you two categories here you can observe this is reference plane by green color that is ground right and here you can observe we have strip line that is of metal and this is what resulting into microstrip transmission line where in between these two metals we will be having dielectric material here one more microstrip transmission line that is shown to you that is strip line transmission line where we will be having ground above and below and inside dielectric material we will be having strip line right and with this microstrip transmission line we will be having high speed data transmission usually you will be observing this type of microstrip transmission line that we are using in printed circuit boards so as and when on pcb you want to transfer data from one block to another block at that time we use microstrip transmission line right see microstrip transmission line that is practically like this this is also microstrip transmission line but name is strip line transmission line right here if you want to understand how electric field is there then you will have to consider polarity let us say current over here is positive so but obviously with ground current will be negative right so here electric field that will be emerging from positive and it will go towards negative means it will go towards ground so that is how electric field that will be there with us and if you want to understand magnetic field then it will be happening as per right and thumb rule right as if i say current is happening in this direction in that case magnetic field that will be revolving like this and that is happening as per right hand thumb rule right if you want to understand more details of this microstrip transmission line then you just go through my playlist of antennas and wave propagation in which i have explained microstrip antenna in great detail to provide signal to microstrip antenna we use microstrip transmission line right while with this strip line microstrip transmission line here we have transmission line where as if i say this is positive in that situation this ground will be negative right this ground will be negative and electric field that will be emerging from this strip line and it will go towards ground like this right while magnetic field will be revolving with respect to direction of current if i say direction of current that is there in this direction then magnetic field will be revolving like this you see and that will be happening as per right hand thumb rule so it will be revolving like this right you just use your right hand and you will be observing this is the direction so that is how electric field and magnetic field that will be there with different types of transmission lines
I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if anything that you would like to share, just note it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.